the top 25 rides at Canada's Wonderland. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. Shout out to Shut Up Man on Discord who suggested this video to me. Really looking forward to getting into it. There's going to be some thrills and spills. Let's go. Canada's Wonderland is the premier amusement park in Canada and also one of the strongest parks in the Cedar Fair chain. <laughs> this giant park features 17 different roller coasters, oh including a trio of supersized B&Ms. 17? Then you also have one of the deepest and weirdest flat ride lineups in the world to complement those coasters. So in this video, I will rank this Canadian Ooh. park's top 25 best rides and attractions. That looks a bit old. Before starting the countdown, I want to note that this list will not include any attractions at the attached Splashworks water park. Because oh, okay. I've only experienced the attractions on the dry side during my visits. Mm -hmm. But the water park does look to have some fun slides. Oh, yeah. I also will not be including like any that. upcharge attractions because I haven't done the ones at Canada's Wonderland. Number 25, Timberwolf Falls. This Hopkins Shoot the Shoots ride is a soaker. You yeah. have a zippy drop followed by a massive <laughs> and drenching splash. Number 24, Wild Nightmares. What's going on this here? This rare Huss Roundup is much larger than the others out there. You get nice G's at the start and the base when the ride oh. goes vertical. They're then because of the that. size, the G's sort of subside at the top, causing you to no. easily rock side to side. No, no. Number 23, Sugar that's, Shack. That's my ride. This little teacup <laughs> ride looks innocent, yes. but the tubs are extremely easy to spin. No. Resulting in the park's most dizzying experience. Yeah, I like Sugar Shack. Number 22, Fly. Fly. This is a larger mock wild mouse than usual. It starts with a large and zippy first drop before going into the usual sections of hairpin turns. See, I like Those that one too. turns <laughs> offer some nice laterals. Yeah. The finale isn't as wild as some mice, but this is a solid family coaster if you can beat the crowds here. Yeah. This ride always seems to have a lengthy line. Mm -hmm. Number 21, Soaring Timbers. This is a bizarre flat ride. A this Mondial ride. Inferno looks like it should flip riders head over heels countless times, but I don't think it ever fully inverts. However, it comes darn close, no. and those near flips cause some hang time. No. Okay. This ride is extremely disorienting between the <gasps> spinning arm and gondolas, plus the rocking. One other downside with this attraction is the extremely cramped seats. Avoid this ride if you're claustrophobic. Okay, so we have, I live really, really close to Dream World, Movie World, Sea World, Wet Water World. They're like 45 minutes drive from my house. On Christmas Eve, I went to Movie World, Warner Brothers Movie World. I think there's a short for it there. And I went on this, I think it's called the Joker ride or Batman ride, something like that, based off Batman. Oh my gosh, that ride was absolutely intense man i don't really like scary rides at all i like these little family rides and the little teacup rides they're cool but yeah these big rides absolutely insane jump on look up warner brothers movie world and you'll see some of these rides they are absolutely crazy number 20 mighty canadian mind buster oh wow this out and back wood coaster cuts through the splashworks water park so you get some great head choppers dodging oh. slide supports and pathways the I layout like itself is pretty mild, yeah. as I noted in a review. Most of the bunny hills are too drawn out to offer any airtime. This coaster does offer some laterals, though, yeah. and despite its nickname as the Spine Buster, I find it tolerable as long as you avoid a wheel seat. Limited airtime, I like that. Lumberjack. <laughs> this San Perla Hawk fits in perfectly with the Canadian section of the park, oh, wow. and it offers a very fun experience with plenty of hang time <laughs> as you slowly invert over at the top. Oh, Don't expect heavy positive G's here. Oh, I like Number it. Number 18, it, hold on. Riptide. No. This Mondial Absolutely top spin is set not. up differently in the Huss versions as you have two separated rows, but offers an ultimately similar ride experience. Yeah, You have no. three rotations where you're held upside down to offer some great hang time. There's a ride then like the that at Dream World of this at maneuver Australia. violently swings you back and forth. Yeah, no. Nah. I wish this one had a rapid series of flips like some of the Huss top spins, but the hang time makes the ride for me. Oh. Number 17, Time Warp. Time Warp, okay. I don't okay. hate San Perla Folares like most, but I will admit you can hit your head on Hold the cage on. if you aren't careful on the turns. Are they upside down? I typically stand no, as not. far up as possible to jam oh, my right. shoulders into the vehicle to oh. brace my body and minimize movement. If you can get a comfortable ride, this layout does have some redeeming value. The two barrel rolls offer fantastic and downright oh. scary hang time as you feel your back lift off the train. No. Then the compact turns have some positive forces as well. 
number 16, <gasps> oh, okay. Whitewater Canyon. Now, this is my, this this is my type ride of ride. is a scenic, heavily wooded course. Most of the rapids are duds here, but there is a soaker towards the end. They'll soak a few lucky guests. Okay, hold on, mate. What are you saying most of the rapids are duds? It's a nice, friendly ride. You're not getting all that airtime. You're not getting thrown round and round and round. You're not potentially pooping your pants. <laughs> So far, some of these rides I'm looking at, oh my gosh. Um, like I said, check out some of the theme parks that we have here at the Gold Coast, Australia. They're like 45 minutes drive from where I live. I've been to them all. I've done them as a kid. It's so funny. I went on all the scary rides, you know, as I was a teenager, like 13, 14, 15 years old. Now, mate, I don't want to touch them with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> But as I said recently, I went to Movie World. I went on one of the really, really big rides with my 17-year-old son who's just recently turned 18. And oh my God, it was clean up on the ride. I definitely 100% pooped my pants, I reckon. <laughs> Let's keep on going. We're up to ride 15, Dragon Fry. Dragon Fire. This oh, Dragon classic Fire. arrow looper may be comically dwarfed by Leviathan's brake run, but it is a oh. decent ride for what it is. The first drop offers a little pop of airtime in the back, and then the two vertical loops offer great positive genes. It's a really long ride, isn't it? The corkscrews aren't forceful, but they are notable for spinning riders in the opposite direction as most from this manufacturer. Wow. While the layout is simple, it's decently smooth for an older arrow. Number 14. Older. Boo that Blasters means me. and Boo Hill. Boo this Blasters. This interactive shooting dark ride is a bit shorter than the others in the chain, but it still has plenty of targets to take aim at, and most of them work. A majority of the ride is the usual black lit 2D aesthetic with ghosts and ghouls. But uh, the this finale is like a features Scooby Doo a creepy ride. goblin animatronic yeah. that pops up. Yeah. Number 13, Wild Beast. Wild this Beast. This wood coaster is another that gets a lot of flack, but I also find it tolerable if you avoid oh. a wheel seat. Several of the small bunny hills offer some floater to quick pops of airtime and or <laughs> lateral forces. Aren't you afraid the it's layout wooden is very and it's similar not too to King's strong? Dominion's Grizzly. Oh. And while it doesn't have the same wooded location or power, Wow. It is still the park's best wood coaster. Okay. Number 12. Oh, no. Wonder Mountain's Guardian. All right. When you start seeing all this tech stuff and all this security and safety and stuff, you know it's code brown. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> you're walking up. You're lining up in the line. You're all excited. You're ready to go. But once they sit you down and they strap you in and they all come and check that you're strapped in, you're like, Get me out of here but it's too late mate red yellow green <laughs> this hybrid oh, roller coaster no. and shooting dark ride earns the spot exclusively for the finale i don't want to spoil what happens here oh, but gosh. it always catches first time <gasps> riders off guard wow. the rest of the ride is both a subpar coaster and shooter the outdoor drop you can see is tame and shaky then the shooting bit is mired by low quality animation and many broken guns. That's cool, man! Some don't work at all, and others have triggers that get frequently stuck. That's really cool! Number 11. Oh, here Wind we go. Windseeker. Windseeker. This 30 story tall Mondial swing ride offers a gorgeous 360 degree bird's eye okay. view of Canada's Wonderland. I'd like that. This ride offers no physical thrills, just psychological ones from the height. That's but awesome! But the visuals make this experience. I'd love that. Number 10. Cyclone. Oh no. This Mondial Frisbee has a very short cycle, with just three max swings. Oh. But those three swings are great. Oh. They offer some decent floater airtime at the apex, plus good positive G's in the valley. This would have the potential to be Oof. one of the better Frisbees if it ran longer. <laughs> Number nine. I can feel my stomach Backlog turning. Stunt coaster. <laughs> Backlog. This Premier Rides family launch coaster is a cute little ride. The ride starts with a moderately punchy launch and one of the most underrated helixes in the world. I always gray out from the sustained G's here. Uh. The rest of the layout has some mild drops with little pops of airtime while passing some larger set pieces. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the effects are broken on this one, but it's still the park's best themed coaster by a long shot. Okay. Up next, Woodman's Skyrider. The now removed Togo stand up coaster was an underrated attraction. I liked most of Skyrider. Oh. The drops and bunny hills offered some surprising airtime, <sighs> especially for a stand up. Oh. And that vertical loop and helix had some nice forces too. <laughs> the big issue with the coaster was an oh. awkward section of trick track that was both painful and uncomfortable, yeah. especially in those stand-up trains. Yeah, Dream Rod recently had one of those. Well, I had one of those years and years ago. I don't know if it's still there. It's the Thunderbolt ride. When we were kids, it was fun, but man, you'd always get off and your shoulder would always be sore. 
Not quite too sure if that ride's still there. I haven't been to Dreamworld for like 10, 15 years. Movie World, that's one of my favorites. Also, I didn't mention SeaWorld. SeaWorld is like a water park, an animal park, but it also has rides. Guys, jump on, check out all these cool theme parks that we have here in Australia. I'll give you the list. SeaWorld, Movie World, Dreamworld, Wet n Wild. They're awesome. Let's keep on going. Sledgehammer. I just don't like the sound of this one at all. Number eight. Sledgehammer. Oh. <laughs> this one of a kind Hus flat ride looks incredible with the giant claws bouncing up and down. Oh my gosh. This ride basically feels like a drop tower as I noted yeah. in my review. You launch up into the air and then drop oh. back down three times with the ladder, actually giving some weak airtime and a stomach dropping sensation. Oh no! It's a shame this ride has some reliability <laughs> issues because I would have loved to see more of them. It looks like it has a claw. Number seven, Shockwave. Oh no, here this we go. This dial top scan doesn't nah. run like those in Europe. Not by a long shot. Oh. But it still does offer a wild experience as Are you're you spinning and going and at the same while time? Also sustained laterals. Oh no. I didn't get too many flips in this one. But there was one sequence where I was suspended upside down for a few seconds for some sweet hang time. No. And then this one comes frighteningly close to fly. Number oh. six, drop tower. Okay, so drop tower. So we have ones like that in Australia. They're called the giant drop where you go all the way up nice and slow and you're looking at the view and it's, it just looks spectacular because you can see all the way to the beach. You can see all the way to surface paradise and it looks beautiful. You're loving your little trip up. You're not liking your trip down. <laughs> you don't realize it's going to fall. They don't give any indications. They don't make any little beep sounds like beep, beep or nothing. You just, that's it. <laughs> it's not good at all. I do not like the anticipation of when it's going to drop. No way. No, no, no. This 23 story tall intimate yep. drop tower is a good oh, version. Oh, yep. That's you it. You get great views of the park from the top. Oh. And the plunge offers weak floater airtime the whole way down, oh. plus a stomach dropping sensation. Yeah. The one Not downside good. with this one is that the employees give guests a countdown at the top, which ah. detracts from the initial rush you get in most drop. So we don't get that countdown. Because you know when the drop is yeah. coming. Yeah. Interesting. Number five. Oh, here Vortex. we go. Vortex. This arrow yeah, suspended okay. toaster is a nearly identical layout to King's Island's bat, but this one is far more forceful. Oh. It is the best suspended coaster I've ridden. Oh. Every single turn offers a mix of wild swinging and strong <laughs> positive Gs, particularly in that picturesque helix around Yukon Striker. Yo. This ride is short, but is a fast and furious coaster. They're all short, but Number mate, four, you can poo your pants Skyhawk. enough times. This Sky Skyroller is the park's best flat ride, if you know what you're doing. If you patiently and rhythmically rock your body and the flippers in unison, you can get these vehicles to flip at a scary rate. I've oh, gotten nearly flip 50 and flips in this attraction and barely been able to walk afterwards. Oh, you can make it do that yourself. It's wow. a true rush, and this one also offers wonderful visuals being up on the hill by Wonder Mountain. Okay, so tell me about this ride, guys, if you've been on it. If you move around and make the forces and generate your body strength, you can actually make it flip more and more and more. That's really cool. You wouldn't think you'd be able to do that with those rides that are so up in the air and so high in the air. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Guys, jump on. Let me know. Have you been on this particular ride? Were you able to use your body weight to make it flip and flip and flip more? Let me know. Number three, oh. Yukon Striker. <laughs> this is the best Balger Mabiar dive coaster, as I proclaimed in a recent oh, review. Oh, my gosh. Unlike some that are one-trick ponies, Yukon Striker offers a full and shockingly intense layout. That signature first oh, draw no. offers great no. floater airtime, as you'd expect. Nah, then the ride's I'm valleys out. and foreign versions pile on the positive Gs, far more <laughs> than the other dive coasters. Then oh for variety, gosh. you have a zero-G winder chock full of hang time oh. and a fun finale with a bunny hill and a visually pleasing helix. It looks really cool. Number two, oh. Behemoth. This oh B&M hypercoaster is the park's best coaster for airtime. You have a never-ending series of camelbacks, oh. each offering several seconds of floater airtime. Then this coaster is an interesting finale, unlike some B&M hypers, with the moderately forceful downward helix and a few final airtime pops. Wow. This would be a top tier hyper coaster, but it's in that yeah. next tier because many of the valleys have developed a rattle that can impact the ride ability. Oh, look how big that See coaster is. To learn more. Okay, so like I said, we have heaps of rides like this in our theme parks. I think they do call them hyper coasters. So you've got hyper coasters, you've got flat rides. I'm starting to distinguish the difference now. 
Um, yeah, I think, guys, definitely check out um the Joker ride and the Batman ride. Google Warner Brothers Movie World and check them out because I think they're hyper coasters. They are just insane, man. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. You're so excited to jump on these rides as a kid, but as an adult, you're like, no way, no thanks. Not happening today. I'll stick with the little teapot ride. And coming in number Here one go. is Leviathan. The Prototype B&M Giga Coaster still offers a great ride experience. The first drop is one of the best in the world with the no. four to five seconds of strong and sustained floater airtime. Five seconds? The first turnaround is a major grey out moment for me as well. A <laughs> grey out moment. The rest moment. of the coaster switches between low hills <laughs> emphasizing the coaster's speed and large camelbacks with oodles of floater oh, airtime. Oh, look at that. I do think this coaster's finale is a bit underwhelming, oh. but that outward leg is incredible and the ride is super smooth and re-rideable, <laughs> which I cover in a review. So those are the top oh, 25 wow. best rides and attractions at Canada's Wonderland. What are your favorite rides at this Ontario theme park? <laughs> How Ontario. do you rate the B and M's? Okay, okay. So Canada's Wonderland. It's very, very similar to Warner Brothers Movie World Hollywood on the Gold Coast. I see so many similarities. It's insane. The roller coasters, the different themed areas. It just looks really cool. It's in Ontario. He didn't mention that at the start, so I wasn't quite too sure where it was. I was going to jump on and ask you guys to tell me where it's located. Now I know. Guys, have you been to this cool theme park? What did you think? Did you poo your pants? Um. Is it a good family park? It looks like some of the places there are really, really good for the family. Like I said, it's Warner Brothers Movie World, Hollywood on the Gold Coast. It looks very similar. Google that. Check it out. Oh, these rides, I love them. But, man, oh, you have some moments. You have some really, really scary moments. I really, really enjoyed that video because I haven't really looked into theme parks in Canada. I didn't really know if there was many. So this was a great suggestion. Cheers, shut up, man. That was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Also, jump on, share your stories about Canada's Wonderland. I'd love to hear them. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.